Hey guys, it's your girl Malika and I'm back with another video. Today we are going to do a review of the new Echo Brow Defining Crayon. I have the color Liz and I also have the Echo Brow Defining Gel in clear, which is the only color that I know that it came on. I ordered these off of Credo, which was my first time ever buying something from Credo. They both um, the defining uh, the defining crayon has 12 months sh shelf life and retails for $26 and the gel is a six month shelf life and it retails for $24 but before we get into this review I hope you will consider subscribing the button is down below if you are going to subscribe hit that notification bell so you will be notified every time I upload and give this video a thumbs up if you like me or you like this content comment down below so I can hear from you all share this video wherever you share videos feel free to use any of the links in my description box they are safe um, it's not required that you use any of them but it does help me it supports the channel and me and I greatly appreciate all of you thank you so all I have on today is a light 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 foundation and some highlighter as you can see because the highlight is popping I'm gonna take my mirror and we're just gonna get right into this demo I'm first gonna show you how this crayon applies and my thoughts about it and I'm going to do a little bit of a wear test I'm going to wear it for a couple hours to see if it really does last long because that's the brow gel is um it says it's a non-flaking conditioning gel formula that tames unruly brows and holds them in a place that in place in a way that looks natural providing a subtle subtle glossy finish. The gel formula can be used alone or over any um, Echo Brow Defining products. And then this defining um, pencil or pen or whatever, um, Dual Crown creates a retract retractable self-sharpening brow pencil on one end and a spoolie brush for perfecting and taming on the other. The smudge proof crown angle tip allows for artful precision simply fill in the direction of your brow then use the brush to expertly comb and blend so we're going to see if it holds up to those claims okay so i got you guys zoomed in a whole bunch you can see my sparse brows so this is how the pencil looks you guys and it just has sleekness it's just black and it has the simple writing on each of each side and so this is how it looks and then you just twist it up so the product ends up looking like this and remember I have the color brow uh, the color Liz and then it comes with a spoolie so I have my mirror over here and my brows are not perfect you guys they've always been thin and density although they do have hairs I have a full brow of hairs, it's just thin in density. So this is how this looks. So we're gonna see how this works. Hold on. First thing I know is it glides on easy, but it's not like, you know how like when you use a pencil and it's super creamy? It's not super creamy. It has a bit of a stiffness to it. So I immediately like that. Seems to color them in pretty smoothly and evenly. Try to clean it up a little bit. Now I'm not going to try to do any hair strokes or anything like that. This is just not me. I ain't got time for all that today. But I'm just going to do 
a lightly shading in even though it might look super dark to you guys then I'm gonna brush it so it says it's smudge proof but I'm able to remove it pretty easily with my hand I do like it though I like that it's not as it's not super stiff but it's also not super creamy so it's the right consistency for a brow let me do it this way so you guys can continue to see hopefully like my brows are always sisters so these brows aren't going to be perfect okay so so far the product is allowing me to fill my brows in easily and I'm not going to get perfectionist because these are just this is comparable to how I would fill in my brows for an everyday kind of look I wouldn't take a lot of time doing it So that's how that's looking. Let me look straight ahead. Looks like it needs a little bit more product. Like I always say, my brows are never cis um twins. Okay, I like that. So I really don't have much to say about it. I think it glides on really nicely. I think that the pigmentation is there. I wouldn't say that it's smudge proof. Maybe it has to have time to set before it's smudge proof. But for right now, while just doing my brows, I would say that it's not smudge proof. So let's move on to the gel. This is how the gel looks um, in a sleek. I imagine they will come out with different colors because it does say clear on here so I imagine that they would. It has one of these longer ends and then a shorter end. So let's see. Hmm, I don't know if I'm going to use the longer end or the shorter end. It seems like it does a good job of getting the product. I don't know. I kind of like the shorter end. I think I like the shorter end of it. If you have longer brows, then the longer end probably will work better for you. And it seems to like clear this brush with product. So I'm kind of swiping over the top to get more product on the brush because it seems to clear the brush pretty good. From product. So I'm just trying to really get my front, my little front hairs with enough gel on them. I don't know, can you guys kind of see the hair stroke? So that's how they look, and that's with one coat of gel. I think it looks pretty natural. I think it gives like my hair underneath the brow edge. Like it kind of makes it look more defined, more bushy-ish kind of look. Like I'm not sure if that's coming off on camera, but for me in person, it is. So I wanted to give you guys another close-up shot of my brows. So I kind of can see the subtle shine that it gives. Okay, like so it is 12.56 right now, which I know you guys can't see because my camera wants to be. But it is 12.56, so I will probably try to come back to you guys around 6 or 7 o'clock. Right, it is we'll 5.08, and I have worn this now for 5 hours. Um, I have 
clean my carpets today. I've been really busy doing lots of housework. So I think that it held up well. And if I look to the side, it's my mirror. Um, I do think that the top of this brow kind of faded a little bit from me sweating from doing housework. So that's not really the product's fault because I also was touching my brow. But as you can see, this brow is like fully completely there. And I can still see the little shine that the gel gave my brows. So that's really cool. And it just doesn't look like on the brow that I wasn't touching, it doesn't look like it has faded at all. So I really like the way that this pencil glides. Like I told you guys, it is not too creamy and not too stiff. So it's the happy medium. I like that it's self sharpening. Um, I like the packaging. And um, I just like that it's going to be now easier for me to be on the go and just do my brows on the go. I like that. I just like the way that it's it's been packaged and the spoolie and everything. So I'm going to have to give this a go. I figured that I would, but you know, you never know. As far as the gel goes, um, I do think that it gives that subtle shine. Um, what else did it claim to do? It kept my brows in place. I would definitely say that um, there's not a hair out of place. Even the part where I was sweating, the hairs are still in place there. So I really, really like that. The only thing I didn't like about the gel is that um, you, the brush, like you know how you're pulling it out like this, it does a pretty decent job of pulling off a lot of product so you might have to dip it back in there a few times but that's neither really here nor there like the sleek packaging of it all and I like that the gel is clear and not colored because I definitely don't like my brows to look too dark especially on days like this so have you guys tried this product if not or these products rather if not are you going to try them? Let me know your thoughts down below. I really ended up liking these products and I was kind of worried that I wouldn't like the gel or that the pencil would be too thick or too creamy or too stiff and it really was the happy medium. And so the gel lasts six months and this lasts 12 months. I'm kind of a little bummed that this doesn't last longer. Um, yeah, I'm a little bummed about that, but you know, the price, okay, this is $26 and $24. I think the price is pretty much on point for what these products would normally be priced at. If it was $30 or anywhere more than that, I definitely would have been like, this is super expensive. I don't think it's worth it, but I do think the prices are pretty good on these products. And yeah, so like i said if you've tried these products let me know down below if you haven't are you going to let me know down below as and as always peace and love bye